On the air with you at 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Cordell Wright. Things are once again busy at the University of South Dakota School of Law this summer. Parker Brown breaks down what's in store for the campus as the new school year approaches. It's our top story tonight. This is the third straight summer of renovations at the Knutson School of Law. The building is from 1981 and they say that the upgrades were needed. The campus of the University of South Dakota is quiet in summer months with few living there and preparations for the upcoming fall semester underway. But inside the Knutson School of Law, the sound of progress can be heard. These projects, we've got a short window because students leave in early May and they come back in early August for us. So it's pretty compressed for the workers, but they have done a great job. Because of that short window, this summer's renovations will not be the last. This summer's focus is on the lower level library. They will be moving their collection to collapsible shelving, which will reduce the footprint of the shelves and create more study space. It also just kind of opens up the lighting and the visibility in the lower level. You're still in the basement, but it's a lot cleaner, a lot better lines, a lot better light down there. So it's going to be a better place for more students to study and it's going to be more homey when students spend hours and hours reading important cases and statutes in law school. In previous summers, they renovated the classrooms and the student commons. All of these changes will have a lasting impact on those who often visit the building. The faculty, staff, and students of the building are really what make it go, but the building is important. These things are fantastic in that they meet current needs and they make it a more livable space for everyone who works and studies here. Even though they're up against a tight deadline, they should be done with the renovation by the time classes begin. In Vermilion, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now.